Why are you doing this to us? Just tell us where the medicine is! No wonder we kicked your ass in the Gulf War. <laughs> I'm being tortured, uh, and I deserve it. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a torture scene, and... Basically, they're trying to get medicine for someone, and they think I have the medicine, and I'm not telling them where it is. Shannon has asthma. Asthma? Yeah. Never seen her have an attack before. Because she had an inhaler. She just she sneaks hits when no one's looking. She's just she's been embarrassed about it since she was a kid. Shannon's obviously suffering from asthma, which we didn't know before, and we get to see um, Jack having to treat her without the medication. When he finds that Sawyer has the medication, he goes after Sawyer. But I had four refills, which should have been enough for a couple months. But she always forgets her medication, so I put it in my suitcase. Today I see that jackass reading Watership Down. Wait, you're, you're losing me. It was in my bags, the stuff that I checked. If he has my book, he has my luggage. If he has the luggage, he has the inhalers. I feel what's cool about the show is that you take a character who you introduce as a hero, and then you show wow, maybe they're not that really heroic of a person. You could also introduce a character who is supposedly a villain and then say, well, actually, this person is not that much of a villain. You know, how did they get that way? Because I think, like, all of our characters are sort of emotional beings who we want to understand why they are the way they are. And so I wanted to explain what Sawyer's origin was. What is that letter that he's reading in the pilot? Why does it motivate him to go out and send out this broadcast? Why does he want people to hate him so much? Why does he allow himself to get tortured when he doesn't even have the asthma inhalers? I saw the pilot, you know, I'm like, he's the first one to die. <laughs> like, I'm the first one out. So I'm like, that's just great. Got a job, all happy about it. I'm the first one cut. So I'm like, that's just great. But, you know, I, I found that one moment in the pilot reading the letter to show a little of his humanity. And I was like, that's his struggle. That's the struggle of this character, is his struggle with his own humanity. However, there's a fine line to being the guy that you love to hate or the guy that you just freaking hate. He decided to join us. Complex guy, sweetheart. My character's kind of angry inside at who he is. And so he kind of thrives on pain a bit. Thinks he deserves it somewhere down there. And that's what sort of Sawyer's entire character is. He's sort of not self-aware enough of himself to realize why he does this. He's helpless to do it. And I just kind of wanted the character to sort of come out of his shell a little and say to the audience, you're supposed to like this guy. You know, you're supposed to feel for this guy. Yeah, he's an asshole, but the root of him being an asshole is that these horrible things happen to him when he was a little kid, and he's really, really angry. And anger makes us all do really, really weird and surprising things. So you got <laughs> splatters. No wonder we kicked your ass in the golf hole. <laughs> Saeed's not the instigator in, in any of the situations. But finally, I got him. I brought him down to what I hoped I could get out of it. And so there's a triumph for me in, in the fact that he's tortured. And what I see and what that's doing to him, that he didn't want to go there, so I'm going to make him go there. And I mean, how far would this guy go? He'd get himself tortured, you know, so he could get a little sympathy kiss or something, which is pretty sick. That episode was sort of an attempt to humanize Sawyer and also to sort of begin to develop the love triangle of have Kate look at this guy in a new way and say, like, wow, this guy is not just a belligerent. This is a guy who I'm beginning to understand now. And Sawyer's response to that, which is, you know, get away from me. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. Don't you feel sorry for me. Get the hell out.